Hello everyone. Today it's our celebration assembly. So we've got quite a few names today. So uh, let's get started. All these people obviously will get a certificate and have been doing some great work. So first up we've got Ezra. So Ezra has, gets the award because he's trying really hard when he writes and he's trying really hard to improve his presentation. And you can see there, it, what, I can read it perfectly. I can see a chair. So that's fantastic. Can we give Ezra in Owls a big round of applause, please? Well done, Ezra. <laughs> Next up, we've got Eva. Um, and she's been doing some fantastic writing as well. Um, she gets hers for writing this independent morning sentence. I can see a chair. She segmented the word and wrote down the phoneme she heard. She's made amazing progress in her writing since she started in reception. So that's fantastic. Can we give Eva in Blackbirds a big round of applause, please? Well done. Next up, we've got Ophelia in Robbins, and she's an excellent learner because she never stops trying. And you can see here's Arbot2, um, who's trying really hard with something, and she does that as well. Sometimes she worries about her work and she wants to get things perfect, uh, but now she is learning to always have a go. It's fantastic. Well done for your independent work. Uh, can we give Ophelia a big round of applause, please? Well done, Ophelia. Uh, the award in um, Chaffinch class goes to Leonardo. Leonardo is a curious learner who is attentive and engaged. And so I, I put um, Arbot3 resourcefulness up here because they're really curious, always asking questions. Um, his teacher has been really impressed, particularly in library sessions with Mrs. Hamilton. He loves books and this shows with careful listening. Um, and, he, and he listens so hard. Uh, Leonardo's got a love of non-fiction and it's clearly helping him with his writing as well and he uses his knowledge in his work so that's fantastic well done for showing sh such curiosity can we give Leonardo a big round of applause please well done Leonardo in Woodpeckers this week the award goes to Alyssa um, she has shown that she can be a great independent writer and demonstrated this by writing a super sentence on our new outdoor whiteboard. She even used a conjunction spelt correctly. That's amazing. Can you see that writing there? Look at that. It's brilliant. So can we give Elisa a big round of applause, please? Well done. In Kingfisher, the award goes to Mersham. Mesham has been working really hard to use his sounds to write different words. He listens carefully to his teachers and acts on feedback. And you can see that here. He's tried really hard with his sounds to write those uh, animals' names. Can we give Mesham a big round of applause, please? Well done. <laughs> In a Mallard's class, the award goes to Cassius. And I know Cassius has had one recently, but this is from his different teacher. So this is from Mrs. Tesdale. Um, Cassius asked the zookeeper some thoughtful questions about rhino. He asked how were the rhinos transported, wondered how aggressive they are, and asked about the details of the enclosure. He listened really carefully to the responses as well. And that's fantastic because Cassius is being a good ambassador for our school when he's out and about asking those brilliant questions and showing really good learning behaviour. So can we give Cassius a big round of applause, please? In Puffin's class with this week, the award goes to David. Um, and David, um, he gets it for resilience because he's trying really hard to read five times a week. Um, and that shows great resilience and determination. And what you're doing as well, David, is you're developing a habit. Um, and by doing something all the time, you develop that habit. Um, he's, David has a real interest in books and he's made, making great progress with his reading. So can we give David a big round of applause, please? Well done, David. <laughs> Next up is Grace. Um, Grace gets the award for a Ravens class because she has made a poster with a working light bulb. <coughs> and you can see that working light bulb just there. Uh, she even helped other people make theirs too, which is fantastic. You really show that you're learning something if you can teach somebody else how to do it. So that's great. Can we give Grace a big round of applause, please? In Buzzards this week, the award goes to Chantelia. 
Um, in art, they've been looking at sketching and botanical, botanical drawings based on flowers, and you can see one here. Chantelia was able to pick her own wildflower and began the lesson by examining it closely with a magnifying glass. Then she was able to sketch the shape and form of the flower very carefully, as you can see in the picture here. That's fantastic. Can we give Chantelia a big round of applause, please? Well done, Chantelia. In Swifts this week, we've been thinking about our superpowers. Not the superpowers from cartoons and films like Flying and Going Invisible, but the real superpowers that we all have, like showing kindness, bravery and empathy. These are the superpowers that make us great family members, school friends and learners. Emma has given a lot of thought to this PHE, PSHE um, strand and she uses her points to get others to think too, which is why she gets the Celebration Award this week. Big round of applause for Emma. In dubs this week, the award goes to Jackson. His independence in his writing has improved fantastically since he's joined Dove's class. He's come up with lots of his own great ideas um, in this piece, where he was in role, writing from a character's perspective. He's shown excellence, in particular in this piece of learning, uh, and Miss Shaw was very impressed with your effort. Well done, Jackson. Could we give him a big round of applause, please? In Goldcrest class, the award goes to Italia, She's been trying really hard in English and maths, pushing herself outside her comfort zone. And you can see here some of her writing work um, about the fantastic book that they're reading at the moment. Uh, can we give Italia a big round of applause, please? Uh, the award in Starling's class this week goes to Kai. He's shown excellence when writing in his progress book by thinking carefully about the features he needed to include and using his own imagination to create his own rabbit tribe. Kai also took great care over his handwriting and presentation and you can really see that there uh, and you should be really proud of his writing. So well done Kai, big round of applause please. In Herons this week the award goes to Bella. Bella has been working so hard in maths. She shows resilience in her learning as well as resourcefulness in using other calculation knowledge to make sense of the more challenging questions. In the Think Together tasks, Bella uses all of the, the available space to show her working and solve problems logically. As a result, her understanding is sound and she's even able to explain to others how to solve problems. Again, if you can explain something to somebody else, it means that you've really learnt it. So Bella, you're a great role model uh, for learning. Can we give her a big round of applause, please? In Ospreys this week, the award goes to Evie, um, EVF, uh, who has completed some fantastic work when writing a biography uh, about Philippe Petit. She has shown resilience and really taken the time to focus on her handwriting and presentation. And I'm just going to shrink down out of the way so you can see a bit more of this fantastic uh, writing. That's amazing, Evie. Keep up the good work. Big round of applause, please. In uh, Razor Bills this week, the award goes to Asia. Um, Asia has been working hard to improve her handwriting. In, in writing the week before, we took the opportunity to publish a piece of our writing. Asia was reflective after this piece of work and noticed that she could improve her handwriting always, not just when we're writing out our best pieces of work. This week, Asia has worked every lesson to produce her best, best handwriting, which is amazing. So well done, Asia, for taking the time to improve. Your effort is really showing. Big round of applause, please. In Eagles this week, the award goes to Jackson. Um, and Jackson's award is... He's a fantastic member of Eagles class. He always shows integrity, excellence and respect in all that he does. Um, Miss Allison could have chosen any of Jackson's learning, but what stands out is, um, is his amazing reading. And this is just a little bit of his um, reading uh, diary that he keeps, his, his homeschool book. Jackson reads every day and he's great at recommending books to the class. So this is somebody who's establishing reading as a habit, something that you do every day, which is fantastic. Can we give Jackson a big round of applause, please? Well done, Jackson. Okay, and next up, and this is our last one today, we're just gonna move out of the way a bit, is for Harlow. 
Harlow showed a great deal of determination, resilience and resourcefulness as she designed a game um, on scratch today and the game's got variables in it. She was extremely patient as she worked out how to create a program and debugged when she came across an issue within her game and she even opted to complete her game during her break because she was so determined, which is fantastic. Can we give Harlow a big round of applause please? Well done. Uh, and that's it for this week, and that's it for this term. So hopefully next term, will um, it could be you up here. So that's great. So well done, everybody, for all your hard work. It's been a really nice term. You've been fantastic. Um, and uh, I look forward to giving out, um, doing more of these assemblies next term, and hopefully I'll get some more names from teachers. So fantastic. See you all soon. Take lots of care. Bye.